So over the years, I've done a lot of videos on growing bamboo, and one of the things some people have trouble understanding is how bamboo actually grows. And I've talked about that in some of my videos, but I'm going to focus on that in this video specifically. And I'm going to be talking about running bamboo and clumping, but mainly focusing on running bamboo. So uh, many years ago, I started uh, bamboo, growing bamboo in my basement from a single seed, and it's moso bamboo. And I moved that to the outside and put it in a grove, uh, started growing that as well as other species in the same grove. Um, and I do annual updates every year to kind of go over what I've done to take care of it and uh, a few, a bunch of other things. So if you're interested in any of those videos, the playlist is going to be up here or at the end of the video. So let's get into talking about how bamboo grows. Okay, so let's start with clumping bamboo. I'm only going to cover this very briefly here. So with clumping bamboo, let's just say you purchase a, um, a pot of it. So you got your pot and then you got your clumping bamboo here, you know, growing up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that pot most likely and you're going to plant it in the ground and you're going to have this bamboo growing in the ground all in this clump here. Now at the base of each clump, right down at the bottom here, you're going to have a kind of a, like a little bit of a, a root system, almost kind of like a bulb. And then it's got like a bunch of little uh, fibers that come off of it. So what happens is, is uh, the rhizome that actually grows off the base of clumping bamboo, it, it's kind of like a little bit of a bulge on it. And then instead of that rhizome traveling along the, the uh, dirt here underneath the ground, it actually turns itself up and then grows straight up and that becomes the shoot. And then it does that again and again. And again, it just keeps growing up and it only spreads about anywhere from two to 12 inches a year uh, outwards from the main base. So clumping bamboo stays tight together and you don't really have to worry about it running. The problem with clumping bamboo is pretty much every variety of clumping bamboo that there is, uh, it's not very cold hardy. So it's not very, it's not a really good option if you live in a place like I live, which is Northeast Ohio. Uh, it tends to not want to survive unless you kept it in a pot and brought it inside. So that's how clumping bamboo actually grows. It grows a, a very, very short distance from its main calm. It puts out the rhizome and then it grows, you know, it's like maybe a half inch to an inch or so. And then it grows straight up instead of going along underneath the ground like uh, running bamboo, which is what I'm going to talk about right now. So running bamboo, you have the same thing. Like let's say that you bought, uh, you know, you got your pot of here, you got your pot of uh, running bamboo and you get like a couple of, uh, you get a couple little calms in there and you take this pot and then you plant it in the ground. So here's your ground. And then you have your, let's just try to make that picture the same or so, here we go. There's your three shoots that are growing that you planted in the ground here. That's your hole that you dug. So that's growing there. And let's say you plant this during the summer. Okay. so. In most cases, it's not going to send up a, any new shoots if you plant it uh, in late spring or early summer, or maybe even late summer. It's not going to grow anything here, but what it will do is it's going to start growing roots outwards, especially towards the fall. You're going to have um, uh, runners, the rhizome is actually going to start growing outwards like this, and it's going to be spreading in different directions. So usually this is going to happen towards late summer, early fall. You'll actually start to see these rhizomes. They'll jump out of the ground like this and then go back under. And you'll see a bunch of those do that. Um, so on these rhizomes, you actually have these little nodes. And these little nodes here are the start of new shoots. Now, just because there's a node there with like where it looks like a new shoot is starting doesn't mean that shoot's actually going to come up out of the ground. It's not going to poke through like this during the next spring. Um, it will stay just under the surface, usually no more than 12 inches, and it will start to sh send up new shoots in the springtime. Uh, for me, that's usually around April, uh, end of April, early May. It depends on how the season goes. But typically, uh, it's when the ground temperature reaches about 50 degrees or so, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So at that time, it's going to start sending up the new shoots, and you'll start seeing poke through the ground. And at that time, they're kind of vulnerable. Uh, depending on the species, it could be vulnerable to the temperature outside. So if you get a frost, 
during the time that they're poking out, it's a good chance that they might abort. They'll stop growing and they'll die back. And then other ones will start to come up instead. Uh, some of them are a little more cold hardy, uh, certain species that the frost doesn't really hurt them all that much. But if you were to walk on the, across the ground and then step on this, uh, if it's like a little uh, small little nub coming out of there, you step on it, it's going to abort that shoot. Even though it doesn't seem like it's damaged, it will completely stop growing and then other shoots will continue to grow. So that happens in the early spring. Uh, well, that's kind of relative, I guess. It's not, I wouldn't say early spring. It just depends on when the ground temperature warms up and the season of where, you know, wherever you live. Uh, but in fall, you'll also get another uh, shooting season, but it's extremely small. So mostly what you'll see as the summer goes on, you'll start to see the uh, uh, you'll start to see the, the rhizomes jump out of the ground and and start to spread a little bit. Uh, they may not all jump out of the ground like that. That's not what they all do, but uh, you'll some will just be underground completely. Other ones will jump out and go back underground. And some will actually then curve up and then just become a, 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 a bamboo shoot and open up. But I kind of want to focus on how they actually grow. This, this is just an overview of the, the basic growth here. So what actually happens, let's just uh, have a, a clean sheet here. Oh, that's not clean. All right, let's focus on a new part of this paper. I wasn't really prepared for this. I have a dry erase board, but uh, I don't have any markers for it, so we're going to have to deal with it for now. So here's your ground level. We're just basically taking a zoomed-in section of what we're kind of talking about over here. Um, so here are your shoots that are coming out above the ground during the springtime. There'll be a bunch of them. Be uh, a lot of them coming up. It doesn't mean they're all going to make it, but you'll see a bunch of them. I'd say usually about 90% of the ones that you see poking up through the ground will actually uh, will actually become full shoots. But anyways, so what happens is these will grow up in a matter of about a month or so. Uh, it it really varies a little bit, but you're going to have this shoot. It's going to grow and it's going to grow pretty quickly. It's going to keep growing up and get taller. And then eventually it's going to stop growing vertically. And then you'll start to see little branches start to break out from it. They'll kind of look like this. And then those branches will start to get longer and longer. And they'll start to grow leaves until eventually you have a bamboo cane that looks like this and you got a bunch of leaves on it now there'll be some variances of how they all look but this is just a general representation so here's the thing where people are getting confused uh, once this shoot has grown to its full height in about a month or so after it starts to after it breaks ground in the early spring or late spring uh, it will grow up to this height and, and it's going to stop and it's going to branch out this particular plant itself, this one cane, does not grow any taller. Over the years, this will, this will stay alive. I think they live up to about five years, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little bit less. Um, as long as this survives the winter, it, even if it drops its leaves over the winter, this will produce new leaves, but it will never get any taller. This one cane that grew up is always going to be the same height. It's not like a tree where it grows up and then the next season it gets a little bit taller and a little bit taller and a little bit taller. It doesn't do that. It's not how bamboo grows. Bamboo is actually a grass. Um, once it, reached, it reaches its full height, it's going to stay at that height indefinitely. If you were to cut this off right here, there'll be nodes that will grow new tiny little branches out from it, but they will never grow another new shoot. Over the winter time, uh, if the winter is very harsh, and we've had harsh winters around here, Depending on the species of bamboo, it will the leaves will turn brown and drop off, but this whole plant will actually still be alive and new leaves will come out during uh, the next spring or the next summer. But if this if it gets too cold, and I have a couple of species growing in my grove that are not as cold tolerant, this whole thing will die. It'll just turn brown and the, it'll, it won't fall down necessarily. You might have to cut it down, but... It will turn brown and it will be dead and it will nothing will ever grow again. When that dies off, the next spring it gets replaced by a new shoot and it usually will come out right near the base of that one and it'll grow a whole new one. 
The problem that happens with bamboo, if it dies off, if the top growth, this whole thing is considered your top growth, if that dies off over the winter, the new shoots that come up will either be the same height or smaller than this. And usually when they replace it, it's either going to, it's going to be somewhere between half to three quarters the height of what was there last year. So if you have bad winters and you have bamboo that's not very cold tolerant, the bamboo will grow and then it will die off. And then the next season, it's going to grow a bunch of smaller shoots. It will never grow any taller. It will not gain any height. It will actually regress in size and the grow will probably still expand outwards. You'll still get more growth out this way under the ground. But the shoots that come up are going to be small like this if you have a, a non-cold tolerant type of bamboo. So it's in your best interest to get a bamboo that's the most cold tolerant that you can get if you live in a cold climate. That way that um, they may not be like their, their actual uh, full potential. They may not grow to their full potential, meaning that like you have a bamboo that grows like 50 feet tall. You know, that's not going to happen in a, even though it can grow that tall, potentially. It's not going to happen in a colder climate. Um, in a climate like this, where we have temperatures that dip down sometimes to uh, negative temperatures, negative degrees Fahrenheit, and it will uh, it will never reach that full potential. Be and that's because the top growth will probably not stay green over winter. If the top growth, meaning this whole plant, if this whole plant stayed green over the entire winter and stayed alive and didn't drop its leaves, there's a good chance that the new shoots that that will come up the next spring will actually grow taller. And sometimes it could be 50 to 100% taller than the previous year's growth. I ran out of space on my paper there. <laughs> so but anyways, the yeah, you can get new shoots that grow taller as long as the top growth stays green. If that turns brown and dies, then you're going to get shorter growth the next year and it will not be as tall. And that's pretty much how bamboo grows. Now, there are ways that you can protect bamboo, and I've done that with uh, in some of my other videos, discussed how you can do that um, to where you can keep it green all winter. Uh, go ahead and watch my videos if you're interested in, in kind of learning how I did that, and you can probably try to replicate that. To me, it was an experiment. It's not worth continually doing that because eventually if the bamboo is a taller type of species and if it does get too tall, you know, if, you get it, if it actually grows to like 20 feet tall, um, there's not really any way you're going to be able to protect it unless you're growing inside of a building or a giant greenhouse. So that's about it. Um, I hope that was easy enough to understand. And um, that's it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.